Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Um, just want to do a quick little review on this. Uh, so I took it out, and for me, this is all new for me. Um, completely different suspension than what I'm used to using out on the trail. Um, for what it is, straight out of the box, it crawled how it's supposed to crawl, basically. It is very rigid and stiff and bouncy and it'll teeter a little bit on the rocks. I don't know if you saw the video yet or not. Just in case you didn't see it, I'll put a link down in the description below. But it did okay. I mean basically what you have to do is train yourself to find the right lines to be able to to drive this thing on. Now, if you notice in the beginning when I started out of the video, you'll see why I got stuck right in that hole. That wasn't the right line. But after that, I had seemed to do pretty well once I figured out, okay, you can't do certain things that you would do with an SEX-10. So basically, it's just, it's just you training yourself to find different lines to crawl with. However, I am still going to do mods on this thing. Um, I don't know if you've seen Rocket Dog's video where he he showed what to what to put on here. Um, I will also post that in a link so you can see what he did. Um, I did get these ideas from him, so I'll let you watch his link to, to see exactly the the, uh, the part numbers and everything. But, so anyways, the these are things that he told me that, that he basically says in his video to get. So you've got the 100mm um, shocks. Um, and the uh, revolver shackles. However, I still don't have the, the Z-Box revolvers. They haven't come in the mail yet. So that's what I'm waiting for for that. And then I think there was one of his videos showed his drive shaft coming off. So I went and bought this 135 millimeter drive shaft from RC4 wheel drive. Hopefully this will work. I'm gonna put that on there. Um, this one, I can actually probably show you because he doesn't have this in his video. But I'll show you this one. Hopefully you can read that. If you can't read it, I will, I'll put it in the description box as well. Or maybe I'll take a picture where you can see it. And then there's also a few other things I want to do to it too. Um, I do want to put um, a BEC on the on the uh, steering servo. I it is a stock steering servo, so we'll see what's going to happen with this. If it burns it out, it burns it out. Uh, then I'll get in. I'll just get a new steering servo. Either way. I'm putting on a BEC, 10 amp BEC, Castle Creations, and the, the way that I'm going to put the BEC on there is with this plug. Usually you take the the leads, the red and red and black lead, and you solder it to the ESC. But I am going to solder it to this that way if I want to take it out it's easy to take it out so those will be my so called mods to this um, there is more I think removing the some of the leaf springs but you'll probably you'll see that in uh, 
in Rocket Dog's video. And that's going to be it because this is all I have. So I can't start anything yet. Or I could start it, but I want to wait till I get those Z-Box shackles. And then we'll get it all installed on the vehicle and then we'll take it out again and see the difference in the performance. Um, hopefully there's a difference. We will see. But right now, I mean, even just doing this, you can see how rigid that is. That's very rigid. I mean, you got no, unless I really force it to come up, it just doesn't want to come up. So there's a lot of things you can do to this. Like everyone's everyone's saying stuff like taking out the springs from the the shocks, which I I will see if I need to do that once I get these on. And maybe removing um, removing some leaf springs. And there's also um, I saw another video where they put rubber o-rings between the leaf springs so I don't know if I'll try that yet or not but first thing I'm definitely going to try is what Rocket Dog pointed out his looks like it has some pretty good flex so definitely going to try that out first all right guys that was that was my review it's really not bad you just got to know how to train yourself to to crawl with it or or you can do what I'm gonna do which is I'm gonna modify it even though I did okay on the trail but I'm just used to having more flex so I'm definitely gonna modify it so stay tuned for the results of the modification thank you for watching please like and subscribe Hit that bell button for the notifications, and we'll see you in the next video.